up on the mating habits of the monarch butterfly. Very interesting stuff. Well, today we're going to get you going with a little bit more fitness, all right? A little bit of uh, structural balance, some mobility, and then a nice little sweat, okay? So we're going to start off with some quads and some forearm mobility, all right? Our quads, we're going back to our couch. We're going to do our couch stretch, okay? So one foot up on the couch. Make sure we're pushing that, woo, that hip through, okay? Looking for that nice big stretch and then squeezing our butt cheek, okay? This is going to be the one you hold for about a minute, all right? Make sure you're keeping that stretch on there the whole time. And let's make sure we're keeping those ribs kind of pushed down, okay? We can often mask our, our tightness in here by making it feel like we're going really far just by kind of doing the dancer spine, doing this kind of thing, facial expression included, okay? So we want to make sure that we're pushing the hip forward and we're not flaring the ribs up. Neutral spine, stretch the ribs, or the hip, sorry, okay? From there, we're going to go into a quad, or sorry, a forearm stretch, all right? So what we're looking for, we're going to go down on your hands and knees. We're going to start with nice big fingers. We're going to push yourself forward over top of those fingers. You feel a nice stretch into the front of the forearms. And then once you're there, you can kind of spin those, those forearms back and forth, okay? What that's gonna do is just give a bit of a different stretch to a different forearm muscle, all right? Once we go for about like kind of 10 little rotations there, we're gonna do the same thing where our fingers point back, okay? And then kind of sit back onto our heels a bit, all right? Gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds, all right? Now from there, we're gonna go into our structural balance, okay? So first movement we are doing is just a 45 second per side of a single leg glute bridge, all right? So we're gonna get your feet nice and flat on the floor. You're gonna point one foot at the ceiling and then we're just looking to push that heel into the floor and then squeeze those butt cheeks up, all right? Once we're here, we wanna make sure we're pushing the rib cage down to the pelvis. We don't want that big flare up of the ribs because then your low back's gonna do the work and it's gonna take the tension off of your hamstring and your glutes, okay? So we're looking to hold this for 45 seconds. If you feel like this just isn't quite hard enough for you, then you can take a backpack and put a backpack on your hips or a dumbbell, whichever, okay? 45 seconds, switch legs, same thing, 45 seconds on the other side, all right? From there, we're gonna mix that with a bit of uh, kind of core work. We're gonna do a 15 reverse crunches, all right? Now, reverse crunches are also, there's many names. There's, there's sky pokes, there's candlesticks, there's reverse crunch, there's all kinds of stuff. So whatever name you wanna give it is fine with us as long as we do it the same, okay? What I want you to imagine is you have a straight line of sight to the ceiling, and as you crunch your feet up to the ceiling, your feet never go past that line of sight, okay? If you get kind of like that little kick back over the eyes, what you're gonna find is almost like momentum, okay? This way, we have a bit of a mechanical disadvantage the way we're pushing it. It's gonna make those abs work a little bit harder, okay? We're gonna go for 15 reps, all right? So for the structural balance today, you guys are going to be doing four rounds through of the glute bridges and the reverse crunches, okay? From there, we're moving on to a 40 minute AMRAP. That's right, four zero minutes. Going to get fighting. Okay, so first movement is going to be five flights of stairs with a backpack or a weighted vest, anything that makes you feel heavier. You want to think heavy thoughts like, would, would Biggie still be making good music if he was alive? It's all good, baby, baby. This is a really dangerous example of how to do it, but hey, if you want to <laughs> raise your danger, go for it, all right? So every single time you go up and down a set of stairs, that counts as one. You are doing five up and downs, okay? Once you are done, you are five up and downs. We can then go into some no jump, no push up burpees, all right? We let our model re remodel, okay? So no push up, no jump burpee. Just gonna go down, push yourself to neutral, Bring yourself back up, no jump at the top. There we go, good, all right? For these, always just as normal, let's work on trying to get that big pike so we land with flat feet, okay? Let's really try our best to get out of that bad habit of kind of landing on our toes 
and then kind of having that really quaddy kind of knee stand up. We want to use our hamstrings to stand up from there. All right. Next movement, 30 second per side farmer's hold. Okay. If you have space, then you can go for a walk. All right. It's 30 seconds. Okay. So however far you need to walk for 30 seconds. If you're okay with kind of being a bit bored and just kind of standing there, great. All right. You're doing 30 seconds per side. All right. Things we're looking for, nice and tall chest, and almost want you to kind of keep that off the body a little bit, kind of like you're giving that like imaginary last syndrome, like you just worked out, okay? Or what you naturally do when you're carrying all the groceries in one trip, okay? And then from there, we have 20 reverse single unders, okay? So skipping's too easy, we're, doing, we're going backwards, all right? That's how hard it is. That's how hard it is. That's how hard it is. <laughs> There we go, we got it. Fourth time's a charm, okay? So, reverse single under, a little bit different than your normal single under, okay? It's gonna burn the shoulders a bit more. Just a new movement to kind of change things up, okay? You're going for 20 of those, all right? Now, from there, you're going into a single, or sorry, a side plank, okay? It's 30 seconds of a side plank. You can do this from the hand or from the elbow, whichever one feels best for you. And what I like to do is to reach your top hand up to the ceiling, all right? This is going to help force you to stack your shoulders a bit more. And we want to make sure that you're pushing those hips nice and high off the floor so we don't get lazy hip syndrome, all right? So whether you go from your elbow or from your hand is completely up to you, all right? So if you feel like this is just a little bit too tough for you, then you can just go onto one knee. So you have one knee on the floor and then you're pushed up and you're balanced on just the one knee, okay? So a little bit easier. Just wanna make sure that it's just the one arm down. We don't wanna do the old twist and kind of do like a modified double side plank, front plank thing, okay? So that's gonna be 30 seconds per side. From there, we are going into dips, all right? So you're gonna have a seat on the edge of your coffee table. Make sure it's not gonna slide. And then you're gonna walk your feet farther forward and you're trying to keep your back as close as you can to the coffee table and then just go straight down and then push back up, okay? If this feels like it's too hard, then you just bring your feet closer to you. You can bring your feet flat on the floor and then if you wanna make it more difficult for you, then you can put like book bag or dumbbell on your, uh, on your hips as you're going through these. Elevate your feet, you got options, okay? You're doing 15 of those. Then. 20 alternating bent over row, okay? So dumbbell is going to start and end on the floor for each rep. Gonna do a dumbbell row, boom, put it back down, switch. Boom, back down, switch. Good, all right? Now, crucial piece, just make sure we're keeping our low backs nice and flat on this one because it's kind of a longer movement or a longer set. We don't wanna kind of get lazy and start to get into kind of a gross camel back type deadlift position. <laughs> That's definitely it, all right? So let's make sure we're keeping our back nice and flat. That's 10 per side, okay? Not 20 per side. Last and not least, we go into our 15 Russian kettlebell swings. So if you have a dumbbell, this is the way you're gonna hold it, kind of the, the both sides and the top side of the dumbbell. And then if you have a kettlebell, awesome. If you have a light dumbbell, a light kettlebell, we'll just do 15 per side and just do single arm, okay? So if you're looking to come down, use the hips, swing up. Use the hips, swing up, all right? Pretty simple, all right? Let's make sure we're using our hamstrings and not using our low back, all right? And that's gonna be pretty much it, all right? So it's gonna be 40 minutes of just continuous movement. So make sure that you're going out there, having a good, solid workout, throw on some tunes you really enjoyed listening to, and then just uh, have a good sweat. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Have a great day. Smile, laugh, be positive, stay healthy. See you tomorrow, guys.